Hello YouTube and LEGO fans! Yes, it's Destination LEGO and welcome to another LEGO Star Wars set review! And today as you can see we have the MTT set 75058. This is for ages 9 to 14, recommended ages 9 to 14 I should say. Doesn't mean you have to be between those ages. Uh, it comes with a piece count of 954 pieces and it currently retails in the United Kingdom for £89.99. And Down in the description will be the US dollar um, point of sale price in addition to the UK's. Now the first thing I want to say about this set is there has been a lot of controversy with regards to this particular version of the MTT. I'm going to give you my final opinions and thoughts um, to that at the end of this video because I can understand um, a lot of the criticism. Um, but also I think a lot of that has also been unfair in my opinion um, too. So without further ado, let's continue with this video. And so here we go, here is the MTT and out in the front here we have three of the minifigures that come with this set. The others which are all droids are actually inside the MTT at the moment so as and when I take you around the features we can take a lot of those, uh, sorry look at those but most of those are standard droids. So the first thing we will take a quick look at these three minifigures here standing at the front. Okay, first up we have Kugon Jin. So let's take a quick look at him. Let's do our 360 view. You see there the cape, the green lightsaber, um, and obviously the print in there to the legs and the front torso. Um, and in addition, the print into his face. If we just lift up that cape at the rear, you can see there is also print into the rear of the torso too. And he does indeed have a double sided face. Okay, so that is our first minifigure from this set. Okay, next up we have the Naboo security guard. And again, let's take a quick 360 view of him. Bit of rear torso print in there. We can see his blaster. And again, that front torso printing down into the front of the legs. Pretty cool looking cap. Um, obviously there on his head, let's just quickly remove that, take a better look at the face. Okay, so there we can see that face printing a little bit better. Obviously it is single sided um, because of the design of the cap that he is wearing there. So that is our Naboo security guard. And next up we have Obi-Wan Kenobi. So there we can see that front leg and torso printing. He has the blue lightsaber. And again, the brown cape. If we again just lift his cape up, again you can see there, there is print into the rear of that torso um, also. Let's just remove his hair. And we can see again indeed there is dual face printing, so angry face, calm face. Let's call that a calm, but well, what would we say that was? Interested face? Confused? Anyway, that's certainly angry. But we have the dual sided face for Obi-Wan Kenobi. Okay, and back to the MTT itself. So first of all, first thing I want to point out, this is on wheels. Um, pretty cool. I'm going to maneuver it along very easy. So let's try to lift that up. And we can just see those under here. There are two, four, six wheels there. They can, I believe, fit perfectly on the rail, Lego rail system for trains, obviously. I'm pretty sure they fit on there perfectly. Not that you'd really want to put it on there, but if you did, you obviously have that option. So there's a lot of, um, uh, I guess, both detail and functions on this set, which is absolutely a positive. There are also some criticisms of mine and also uh, quite a few other people as well. One of them has to be, I guess, what only can what be described as all these open areas um, around here. I mean, great 
kind of design all around this area, all enclosed, but then you have all these bits here where you can see quite clearly all these technic parts, etc. I just think maybe Lego could have done something a little bit more to um, obviously cover those areas up. We have these front cannons, two of them um, at the front here that can be moved obviously up and down because it's on one of these ball joints at the front here. These can be obviously moved um, as well into lots of different positions um, like you can see um, there. But again, some great functionality um, there. So I think what I'll do is I will start with the front and try and work my way around actually. So I guess probably the main function is, I'm just gonna put that up out of the way. If we look from this angle, you will see here there is actually a um, little lever here. Um, a Technic, there's a Technic um, arm that comes out of that. And if I spin that, you will see the front opening up and out come our battle droids um, there. And again, if I twist that the other way, they obviously go back in and we can manually close the doors up like that. And again, turn that, out they come. Um, so there we get to see the battle droids there um, on the carrier. From that angle, just quickly again, spin that round, you can see it. Close the doors and turn it again and out they come. So pretty cool little function. Battle droids just simply slide out of there like so. They're held in there quite well because again you have this rubber um, stopper here to keep them in place. And there we get to see our six battle droids there all um, ready for deployment. Um, and you can see there the guide runners which run uh, fit into those rails there and just simply push that back into position like so and then turn the knob and they go back inside the MTT so that's probably the main function and purpose of the MTT put those down right you can see some of the detailing around the side there I'm not going to go into great detail about that because there's a lot of other functions to cover on this so the main area up here, we have a door which opens up like so and straight away inside there you can see the um, droid pilot, the battle droid pilot obviously sat there piloting the MTT and at the other side we have another door exactly the same as this side which can again be lifted up um, like so. And <clears throat> down at the bottom we have another section here just gives you better access better access comes down and again on the other side I'll come back to that in a second and with the pilot droid again you can just slide him out there and again you can see him in position there he's got the blaster pistol the pistol there and then obviously there's the controls to actually operate the MTT again that just simply slides back into position but again another pretty cool function you can take that out close the door on that side um, so over here hopefully you can see that if I just tilt that over and try not to lose the pilot droid you should yes be able to see there we have flick fire uh, sorry the spring loaded missiles in there one on each side so let's just fire certainly that one off so you can get to see that working um, just try and that should go that way. Yeah, and there we go. And you should hopefully have seen that shoot out at a very fast pace um, there. But there's the actual missile itself. Just place that back in, push it back in. Like so until it clicks. There we go. And then that's ready to fire again. Like I said, there is one on that side um, also. So close oh that's not in there properly push that in close it up close the door down and again on the other side um so that is the pilot's um compartment or cockpit obviously to operate the mtt and obviously fire those uh, spring-loaded missiles as well moving along to the rear uh, we have our next set of I guess doors or compartments here and again quite well hidden just looks like part of the design of the actual MTT itself but indeed that does pull down like so and in here we have the blasters for the 
Um, battle droids, which you saw earlier. Obviously, every battle droid needs a good blaster. Um, so there we go. We have six blasters there ready to be, to be deployed along with the battle droids onto the battlefield. So they just simply again slide back into place like so and just close that up nice and simply like that. So we carry on round uh, to the rear and uh, we can see some of the rear in a detailing um, on the MTT itself there. Some pretty cool detailing at the rear. Uh, if we just take a closer look at some of that detail there. Hopefully there you can get to pick that up and see that detail. Okay, but carrying on around to the other side of the MTT. So again, we have a compartment here. Um, this one comes down and inside here, just sliding out then, let's try and zoom in a little bit closer. There we go. We have, oh, who is this? I can't remember his name. This is uh, PK4, the PK4 droid. So this is kind of our repair droid. It's probably the simplest way um, to describe him. Um, but we can see him there and he has there a, um, probably what is a, some sort of hammer or mallet. And around on the other side, he has a spanner or wrench um, there on that side. But he's got his own little craft, which he can obviously fly and operate to get to the battlefield to repair um, whatever he needs to bear. Repair, whether that's a battle droid or indeed maybe even the MTT itself. Um, so again, he just simply slides back on the rail system uh, like so and we can close that up. So the final, I think final area uh, where we have another function is actually here. Um, so if I just tip that over, um, first of all to point out, we've got some stickers up here. Um, there are a number of stickers. So wherever you see this detail, and there are stickers. Um, so again, stickers up there, but this just simply tilts back. It's on a mechanism like so. Pretty cool mechanism, um, like that. Again, let's just zoom out a little bit more so you can see that. So again, if I just push that closed, one finger as you can see there, and again, just grab hold of it and open it. And you can see there straight away, we have a battle droid on a stap, which is looking pretty awesome. And that just slides out like so. So there we go, we have a stap to go along with the MTT, obviously piloted um, in this case by this battle droid. But pretty cool looking craft. Um, this fits in. Again, we use these runners here. And if I take a spin at the MTT around, I'm going to have to tilt it. Yeah, hopefully, yes, you can see there the guide rails. Um, and again, we just take the stab, and hopefully you can see that he fits in there very nicely and very easily into position. And you can see that inside actually. And we just push it over, and he's in position. Held in position very well, uh, I have to say. So there we go guys, that is my review of the MTT75058. Now I said at the beginning of this video I'd offer my opinions and there have been controversy over this set. That controversy has been, it's mainly due to the size of the set. I mean, don't be wrong, it's, you know, a reasonable sized set. Um, but if we were to look at the old MTT, that was much bigger um, than this set. Arguably you could say it didn't have as many functions so the playability wouldn't have been as much as this set um, but arguably yes it was definitely bigger um, and I guess probably because of the size of the previous one um, would look better certainly from a display point of view like I said this is a reasonable size as well this is currently on display it's on one of my shelves um, now the things that I do like about this set is the playability the functions I mean the, you know you've got the great wheels to move it along there's so many different functions and things to do on this set um, the stack that comes out of the back there and everything works very well I have to say it does all work seamless, seamlessly um, and all very well um, together like you can see there 
the droids um, coming out of the front of the MTT. So a bit of a difficult one. Let's just put it in simple terms. If there was no previous MTT, this would probably be a massive thumbs up by everyone. It's only because people are judging it against, obviously, like I said, the previous MTT there, which in some respects is, is not fair um, to do so. But I like it. I think it's a great set. Has it got faults? Yeah, in my opinion. So again, I go back to the point that some of this could be better concealed. Um, if it was bigger, it would have been better, but then it would have been a different price point, and those are the types of things that we need to consider as well. Um, for, for kids, I mean, this is aimed at, what was the age on it? 9 to 14, so if you're a 9-year-old or a 10-year-old, great playability, some great playability on it. So, like I said, I think some of the criticism has been unfair. So my opinion overall on this, I think it is a good set and... Overall, I like it. If I was to give it a score out of 10, I would say this is a 7 out of 10. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, like I said, that's it. That's my review completed. Let me know what you think. Indeed, if you've got this in the the previous set, let me know what your thoughts are on it. Um, obviously, doing that direct comparison against the previous set. Let me know down in the comments section. Hopefully, you did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it that big thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Destination Lego. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers!